Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got empties. This is an empties video of everything but the wax. We have laundry, we have pods, fragrance flowers, scent packs, soap, all kinds of things. Scentsy and a few other things as well. And so yeah, if you're into those kind of videos, stay tuned. We have a couple months worth of empties here. I can't remember the last time I did an empties video. I used to do them every month. I've gotten away from that. I now do them kind of whenever they my basket fills up. So my basket was full, so here we are. I was thinking also of possibly changing the way I do this. So would it be better? Let me know in the comments below. Would you prefer to see these kinds of videos that I do when my basket fills up, I do all my empties at once, all the non-wax stuff? Because the what I've been warming videos take care of the wax. But I never get to tell you what I think of the laundry and the scent stuff. And but I never get to tell you what I think of the laundry and the counter clean and the clean products and the body products, except for in these, these empties videos. What I was kind of thinking of doing is actually just getting rid of the empties videos altogether and just doing the non-wax empties in my what I've been warming videos as kind of an empty session at the end. So anything that I used up that would normally be in an empties video would just be at the end of a what I've been warming video, probably before I start vendor wax. Because the way I've been doing my what I've been warming videos lately is I do the wax, then I do the vendor wax. So I think if I do get rid of my empties videos, what I will do is the Scentsy wax, all of my empties, and then the vendor wax. Would you rather see that format of what I've been warming video, or would you rather me keep these empties videos and just film them when my basket gets full? I would love to know in the comments below your input on that, because I can't decide. So it doesn't really matter either way to me. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I'm only doing these empties videos every couple months. So I feel like I'm not getting timely opinions out to you on some of these items. Like the Snow Kissed Cranberry Counter Clean, I love this, but it's not available anymore. So now that I've used it up, it's like March and I can't tell you how it did. So I feel like if I had used this up, I did use this up a while ago. So if I had been doing what I've been warming videos, it would have been more seasonal, if that makes sense, when I told you about it as opposed to now. So just let me know in the comments below what you think on that. Other than that, we'll just jump in. First up, we have a boatload of cotton balls, like a boatload. Um, I threw a few bags of these away as well, so not all of them are here. So I was like, how many bags of cotton balls do I need to show you? But we have one, two, three, four bags of the Equate just Super Jumbo Cotton Balls. These are my preferred ones. These are the ones I go to Walmart specifically to get. Um, these are good. I like these. They each hold about one cube of wax, so you can kind of judge how many you're going to need based on that. So if I know that my my warmers each have two cubes, I know I need two cubes of these, two cotton balls to clean it out. So I like these ones the best because they equate well to the amount of wax they hold. And then we did a pack of cotton cleanups, the old school kind. This is the old big ones. I really like these. These have been discontinued. I stocked up on them, so I have a few bags left. But I really like the big size of these. Then I have this also Equate bag of jumbo cotton balls. These should have been the same, but they're not super jumbo. They're just jumbo. These were not the same. I didn't care for these very much. I found them too small. Just didn't like them. I won't repurchase these ones. I like the super jumbos better. Then we did a couple scent packs. We did a totally mini scent pack in one of my daughter's buddies. There's that one. I think this actually went in her Valentine's Day dinosaur lovey. So that's what that one got. This one's been doing well. It's a fruity floral, very nice. This has been discontinued at the end of February, so it's no longer available, but very nice. We did one other scent pack as well. This is 100 Acre Wood um, from the Disney collection. This is still available. This is the um, Winnie the Pooh scent, 100, 100 Acre Wood. This is kind of a, I can't remember, I think it's got like cotton blossom, jasmine, and a few other things. To me, this smells like a kind of soft lavender, almost woodsy scent, a little bit powdery. It's so pretty. It's a very soft, kind of clean, kid-friendly bedroom scent. Very nice for anyone's bedroom, really. So that's very nice. I've got that in my daughter's drawer. There's that one. Love that. It is a lighter scent pack as well. This is one of the Disney ones. This is the Darly, Dar Dahlia Darling True Love Awaits Fragrance Flower. This one we did in our bathroom. This was quite long-lasting. It was very nice. I did find with this one, the fragrance flower itself, like the flower part, got to that phase, some of them do this, but most of them don't. This particular one got to a phase where it wouldn't absorb anymore, and it just kind of stayed at the same level for a really long time. So I went and just got one of my old fragrance flowers that I'd used already before, and just took the old flower out and put a new one in, and then that did use it up quite nicely. 
but that was a good one. I would say average performing fragrance flower. I don't think I'd repurchase it. It was good, but I don't think I need more. We have one other fragrance flower here. This is Amazon Rain. This is one that I've got in our bathroom right now. It's nice. It's on the soft side, but again, very, very nice. Soaking up very well. Really like that one. And I would recommend that one. That's a good one. I would probably get that again. One of my warmer lights burnt out, so I did 125 watt light bulb and that was good. Um, our bulbs tend to last a really long time, so it's rare for them to burn out, but one did, so there was that. Then I had gotten a travel twist in Cozy Cardigan in a haul, I want to say early in the new year. So I put it in my linen closet, which is very small, very small linen closet. And it's, I usually use a scent circle in there. It has little shelves and I usually just hang a scent circle in there. And that usually does very well. I'm happy with that method. But I thought I would try this instead because I haven't tried a whole lot of the travel twists. I've only tried one before. It seemed to be a dud, so I thought I would try one again. So I tried Cozy Cardigan in my linen closet. Also a dud. Yeah, I can't smell that in here. I can't smell it when I open the closet. It doesn't seem to scent that very small space at all. Um, I think these are just a dud product for me. I can't get these to perform in my home or with any of the things I've used them for, even in tiny, tiny spaces. I think scent circles work better and scent circles are much more economical. I'm gonna stick with scent circles. I would not recommend the travel twist personally. Some people have told me they've had good luck with them. I have not. So that's just, they seem to be kind of hit, hit or miss. I'm not gonna repurchase them. I have good luck with the scent circles, so I'm gonna stick with those. Next up, I finished some washer whiffs. We finished an Arctic Kiss washer whiff tub. This was really nice. We like this a lot. Yeah, um, this has a different scent to it than the wax. This is a bit more floral, less sweet. It was really, really nice. Loved this though. Very, very strong. I will say this is one of the stronger washer whiffs I've used. Loved it. Um, I do have another another tub of it and I'm going to save that for next winter. Um, I hope we see this back next winter in some form. I don't think we will, but I hope we do. It seemed to be quite popular and well received. Really liked that. Next up, we have a washer whiffs tub in Shimmer. This was really, really nice. I did repurchase more of this. I have two more of these now, love it. Um, this is a medium strength washer whiff, but again, love it. Then I finished a few soaps. We finished a bright Christmas morning Bath and Body Works foaming soap. This one has, what are the notes? Ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. I get like a mimosa scent from this. I definitely get the orange here, um, definitely orange, but I also get like a champagne type note or like a fizzy note. To me, this smells like a mimosa. I love it. Um, never got tired of the scent. Loved every minute of it. I will seek out this soap and purchase it again next year. Bright Christmas Morning is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents and I will absolutely seek out more. Next we did Pink Sparkling Spritz in my daughter's bathroom. This one was... doesn't have notes on it. Don't know. Oh, maybe they're hidden here. It's a little peel back thing here. Uh, no notes. Okay. This one was just kind of a clean, almost berry, crisp type scent. It was very nondescript. It was okay. We used it up. I wouldn't repurchase more of it. It was fine. Then we did this one. This came in a FabFitFun box for me. This was Cuccio Somatology Botanicals. And it's hand and body wash in sandalwood and sage. It was a clear product. I used it as a hand soap and I, I would not repurchase this. I did not care for this. Because it's a hand and body wash, it had a weird slippery feel to it because I think it was more meant to be a body wash than a soap. So it says hand and body wash, but it felt like a body wash. So it didn't rinse like soap should. It was slipperier and it had no scent. Like this was more unscented than any unscented product I've ever used. So it says it smells like sandalwood and sage. At no point did I ever smell anything from this. Like this had no scent. This was more unscented than unscented soap. So if you like a truly unscented product, this would do it. But it had no scent and I wanted it to. I didn't like the formula. I didn't like the fact that it had no scent. I did not like this product. I would not repurchase it. Just not for me. If you like a very unscented soap and that's something that you need, it might be a good one. Um, next up, I did a Times Neroli Soul hand wash. This was nice. I like the packaging. It was very pretty. Um, we enjoyed this, it had a nice scent to it. It was kind of like a white tea and maybe like a floral jasmine type scent. Yeah, I would say like white florals, very fresh, very crisp. 
Um, it was pretty. I liked it. I don't know that I would have purchased it. I did, I did get kind of tired of the scent after a while, but I liked the formula. I liked the scent. I just got tired of it. So never say never. I may repurchase this one day, but I think I'm done with it for now. I did really like the packaging though. Enjoyed that. Didn't find it dried my hands out. It was a nice formula. Next up, we finished a shower gel from Lush in Fresh As. This is Step Out of the Shower Fresh As with this Cucumber Siberian Fur and Oris Oil Body Wash. So this was, Oris is like iris, I believe. And this did have kind of like a spring floral scent to it. Like an iris. It, it's very nice, actually. The Siberian fur might throw you, but it doesn't smell like fur to my nose. It smells just kind of like a green scent, like green. And I do get cucumber here. I get a green note and I get that kind of iris Oris oil note. It was very nice. I would probably repurchase this. It was a nice spring floral. We like this. My husband even used this and really liked it too. It was kind of an indigo color, a very pretty color. I liked it. I would probably get that again. Not soon, but probably again. Then we finished up a mini body wash. This was a, a deluxe sample from Sephora. The, the brand is Salt and Stone. It's a body wash and the scent is bergamot and hinoki, which I believe is like a Japanese type of wood. So this was like a little sample bottle. It lasted like five showers. It was nice. I liked this. It did not linger very much on the skin at all. It was very unisex. I think anyone could use this. It was pretty. The bergamot here was a nice fresh citrus. It was not overly masculine. The woodsy scent here was not overly woodsy, but it was crisp and clean. I liked it. I don't know what the price on this is. If it was not too expensive, I might purchase this at a full size, um, but I haven't looked. It was nice. I enjoyed it. So salt and stone makes a good body wash. Formula was nice. Scent was lovely. We liked that. Next up, I finished a eyeliner, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is kind of my go-to. Um, used this one up. I like this because it's got the kind of pen tip there. It's very fine. And you can go really light or really not light. You can make the line thicker or thinner depending on how hard you press, basically. Um, and it does stay really, really well. Like even that little smudge, I'm trying to rub this off and I can't. So it is very waterproof. That's going to be on there till I wipe it off with an oil-based product. It's great. Love this. Have repurchased it. I'm wearing it now. My favorite. Then I had got another little sample from Sephora. This was the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty uh, Body and Hair Fragrance Mist. This is a tiny, tiny sample of it. But I love this. I fell in love with the scent. The scent is like patchouli and some like woodsy tones and some like sweet comforting tones. It's a very like woodsy comforting type scent. I really like it. It's perfect for spraying on after a shower at night. It has a bit of moisturizing qualities to it. It's got a little bit of like an oil finish where it kind of just like makes your skin feel a little bit softer. You can spray it in your hair, on your body, and it's not overpowering, but it's just this kind of nice comforting scent for after a shower. I really liked it. I used up the sample in a few days, loved it, ordered the full size, have been really enjoying that. So I didn't think I was going to like this at all, but I, this is one of those times where the sample worked. I went and bought this product after I used it. So Rare Beauty, Body, Hair, and Fragrance Mist. Really like that one. We also used up a scent circle, one of the 3D ones in Cranberry Orange Cider. This we finished up a long time ago. This was in our car over Christmas. Cranberry Orange Cider had been a holiday scent a couple seasons ago. I think, yeah, a couple seasons ago. It's a nice spiced Cranberry Orange Cider. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's lovely. Really enjoyed this. Whoops. And yeah, it just kind of goes together like that. Um, enjoyed this a lot. I would probably repurchase it if I saw it. Next up, we have a wallflower. I have a wallflower plug in my hallway. So pink pineapple sunrise is what's going on in there right now. It's really nice. It's a kind of crisp, fresh pineapple scent. It's got sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, sun drenched nectar, and natural essential oils. Very nice. Highly recommend, would repurchase that. Like it a lot. I also finished a pharmacy honey halo. Uh, moisturizer. This is Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is the small jar and I cleaned it up pretty good. Um, I really like this. This is a evening moisturizer I would say because it is quite heavy but I live where it's very cold and I do have fairly sensitive skin so the honey base is very soothing on my skin and this is very very thick rich moisturizer. It does really really nice so you don't have like flakes on your skin in the morning under your makeup. Um, I like this one. 
It does have a slight scent to it. It's I don't know that it's scented, but it does smell a little bit like honey. It's nice. It's not overpowering or too strong. It's just really nice. I did go ahead and repurchase this in a larger size. I really liked it and I'll, I'll use this all year round. So that is the Honey Halo by Pharmacy. Really like that one. If you have drier skin, it does say you can use it in the morning. I personally think it's too heavy for under makeup. That would just be my opinion and for my skin. If you had extremely dry skin, it may work in the morning, but I think for most skin types, this is gonna be more of an evening type cream um, and probably more of a winter type cream. But again, I will use this all year. So that is the Honey Halo. Love that, have her purchased it. I finished a counter clean from Sensi in apple and cinnamon sticks. This was, was it from the fall or was it last fall? I can't remember. Either way, I finished this up, really liked it. It's very woodsy, like very woodsy. Like I would, I would say like cedar type wood type scent. It's nice. I don't think I'd ever purchase it because it is just a bit too woodsy for me, I think. Maybe it's the fact that it's like going into spring now, but I just finished this up recently. It was nice. Um, not ever purchased though. I also finished a counter clean in Snow Kissed Cranberry. This one I went through very quickly. We love this. I have one more bottle of this that I'm saving for next year. I love this. This was just gorgeous. It's a pretty sweet, light cranberry scent. The counter clean always does a great job, no matter what scent you get. But I love this one in particular. This was probably my favorite counter clean scent I've ever used. I love Snow Kissed Cranberry. It's not available in, in anything else right now. This did sell out quite quickly when it was available. I hope they give us Snow Kissed Cranberry in like Scents of the Season or something next year because it does seem to be a very popular scent. But this I would recommend. I hope we get that again. I also finished a Scentsy Fresh, like a, this is the uh, fabric spray in Clothesline. This is a available now, but in updated packaging. Um, this is just like a Febreze type spray where you spray it onto freshen up fabric. So I use this on the couch, on the chairs, on that kind of thing, just to kind of freshen everything up. So really, really nice. I will absolutely repurchase Scentsy Fresh. I don't know if I'll repurchase Clothesline. It was very strong. And that scent can lean a little bit headachey for me, depending on the day. So I really like it. I don't know that I would repurchase it for the, for the house, but I think I have used this in my car as well and really liked it there too. So maybe. Next up we, and last of all, we have pods. So I did some pods in my bedroom air purifier of Pink Haze. There they are. They're quite yellow. These ones discolor quite a bit. These were very light pods. I don't think I'll repurchase these particular ones again. I think I got these in a flash sale at one, at one point. And I won't get them again because they were very, very light. I couldn't even smell them in my bedroom. So not a repurchase for those ones. Then I did Silver Bells pods. These ones were great. These ones I will repurchase. I like these a lot. You get mint, you get some like caramely notes, you get some pear, you, it's, it's beautiful. These ones are pretty. I use these around the holidays, really enjoyed those. Then I did Howling Forest. These I think were in the consultant or the club only section. So like the, in uh, your account, if you have a club, there's this club exclusive products category that you can only access if you have a Scentsy Club and these were in there. This is a very kind of clean woodsy type scent. These were a fine performing pod, about average. Um, not a scent I think I would get again. I liked it, just a little too woodsy for me, I think but enjoyable, performed fairly decently. If you like woodsy scents, I would recommend them. Then we did Candy Orchard. These are very nice. These are a nice saturated sweet pod. On the lighter side, I can't say they smelled super strong for very long, but very, very pleasant smelling. So there's those, definitely a lighter performer. And then we did Cashmere Leaves. These ones, unlike the other ones, the rest I did in my air purifier in my bedroom, these ones I did in a wall fan diffuser in my office, and these were really nice. These were very strong, good performing pods, very long lasting. If we get cashmere leaves pods ever again, I really hope that scent comes to the catalog next year. If it does, I recommend the pods. They're not available right now, but I hope we see them again. These were very, very good, highly recommend. And that is my empties. That is all the kind of non-wax things that I've gone through in the last two, three months, and yeah. Would love to know any of your thoughts on any, any of those products. Um, people often ask about the performance of things like washer whiffs and fragrance flowers. So I thought I would just kind of, you know, let you know what I've used and how they did. And if you have used any of the like non-wax products in the last couple months, let us know how those ones did for you. Make it like a resource section of like what worked well. Um, yeah. 
counter clean across the board i love just pick a scent you like and washer whiffs i really like the shimmer ones i also find fluffy fleece to be a fantastic performer and fiji flower as well those are my favorites uh, fiji flower fluffy fleece and the no longer available shimmer so that is my kind of favorite washer with products i would love to hear your kind of favorites below and what works best for you anyways thank you so much for watching have a good day we'll talk to you in the next video Bye bye